All right, I got a poll for you guys. I just wrote this like an hour ago, so it's gonna be a little rough. I hope you guys can hang in there with me. It goes like this. God, shake the heavens, shake the earth, wake the dead and conceive new birth. Wake the sleeper from their slumber. Shine on us from your sun like the summer and make hearts new. Open eyes of the blind so they can see what's true. Let the nation be loose and turn to you. With you we are, without you we are doomed and determined to disaster. Give us right dreams and reshape us. Let us flow with love from our seams. All right, guys, so God's really been doing some amazing things in my life lately. You know, like people say, there's not God, there is God. But when you see him on a daily basis, really like working things out, it's really amazing. Um, I was having some, I'm in school at uh, Moody Bible Institute, and I was having some financial problems this year. I wasn't going to be able to pay for my school, and God just gave me a job, just like dropped it in my lap without me even looking for it. He had an aunt of mine that lives in California spontaneously send me a check for $500 so that I could pay my school bill just in time, and he always provides for me. Uh, I really encourage you guys not to give up on Christianity. In our society today, people think that Christianity is an old religion, you know, it's full of old people and an old book. But you know, it's it's totally true. And it's really important that you guys don't just say, this is old, this is my grandparents' stuff, but look into it for yourself. The Bible says all men have sinned. That means everyone has done wrong things. Everyone has disobeyed God by lying, stealing, adultery, taking God's name in vain. I have done many of these things. I've broken God's laws. And you have to really examine yourself and be really honest. And God loves you despite all the wrong things that you've done in your life, despite all the times you've taken advantage of people, they you haven't been honest with your friends and the people that you love. Besides these things that you do wrong, God still loves you. But God is just. How many of you guys have ever seen like Judge Judy or Judge Brown? <laughs> That's right. We need judges to be just so that our country can run. And God has to be just so that there's truth in the world. If God wasn't just, then anything could be right and wrong. The ultimate end of authority is God. If God gives us justice so that we can have love, so that we can know what right and wrong is. And God has given us this justice and he has to punish sin. The wrong things we do cannot go unpunished. So if you do not ask for forgiveness for, for your sins, you will be punished. But that is not God's desire for you. God loves you so much you sent someone to pay the price for your sins it's like if I was standing here preaching and a police officer came and gave me a, gave me a ticket because it was illegal I would have to pay for that ticket because I did something wrong it's not illegal don't worry don't pin but I would have to pay for a ticket because I did something wrong just like that all the sins we do in our lives we deserve to pay but what if my friend Wallace paid for my ticket That'd be pretty cool. Just like that, all these things we do in our lives that are against God's law is like breaking laws in America. And we have to pay a ticket. But that ticket is eternal punishment. But someone else can pay the ticket for you. And that person is Jesus Christ. God sent his son to pay the price for your sins by dying on the cross so that you can be forgiven. He already paid the price. You just have to accept his gift and believe in Jesus as your Savior to be forgiven. If you have never done that before, I would encourage you to pray today and say, God, I'm sorry for my sins. I believe that Jesus died for me. Please forgive me and help me to live for you. The word repent means to turn around. And God wants you to turn around from your sins and to do what's right and to be forgiven for the wrong things you've done. And when you turn around and be forgiven, God will give you a new life and he will give you a new strength to do what's right so that you don't have to continue to live in sin. So please, please make sure you're going to heaven. If our life is really only 70 years, and if there's something after our life that's eternity, then our life is like a snap. If I had like a timeline this long, if you guys have probably seen timelines in like history class or something with certain dates on them, if this timeline is for eternity, which means forever, then our life wouldn't even be a sliver on the timeline. 
if, we're, if we really live forever in our eternal beings, then we need to make sure we're in heaven after we die, because that's going to be all the rest of this timeline. So please make sure you trust in Jesus, your Savior, today, and ask for forgiveness from your sin. Thank you.